Hey y'all, it's Twinkies and I'm coming at y'all today. Um, today's video is going to be titled, or as you have seen, it's titled, I got my first lace wig, now what? Um, in this video, I will be doing a review on bestlacewigs.com. I got a lace front wig uh, that is Indian Remy. And it's a handmade unit in the uh, color number one. Length is 20 inches and the style is SW082. Okay, comes nicely, oh, excuse me, comes nicely packaged. And what I'm going to do in this video first is um, if you want to skip past some of the parts that I'm going to do actually in this video, I'm going to list down below at the times of what I'm doing in each segment in this video. But I want it to be thorough this time. So, <clears throat> first thing I want to talk about is adhesives. I have a few. I have Ultra Hold which I like, but it's very stringy, very, very stringy. I have 30 Second Salon Pro, which I also like also, um, as well. And it has um, an applicator that comes with it. I know that ultra, some Ultra Holds do come with an applicator, but in this case, mine's didn't. So I just use a um, old paintbrush and when you get done all you gotta do is just soak it in the alcohol and it'll dissolve the glue off at the tip of it so it'll be fresh when you use it next okay then I also tried lace it now this one I will never use again I did not like it at all and this is the it right here and I got this from Sally Beauty Supply I believe it was $6.99 this one right here to me is a no-go then I, tr I went to one of my local beauty supply stores and picked up liquid gold. Usually with lip liquid gold, you use that to bond tracks and things. But they do have a lace front adhesive now. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Um, not with this unit, but probably with the next one. And I will let you all know how this came out. I also have Maron. <laughs> y'all know I can't say that word. Um, spirit gum adhesive in matte. I'm not sure if I was using this right or what. But um, I'll I don't know. This one broke me out a little bit, but I'm I might give it another try. But we'll see. And then I also got the spirit gum remover. If you use spirit gum gum, you you should definitely have the remover to go with it since it's made for that particular product. Then also with the Liquid Gold, they have an adhesive, a lace front adhesive dissolver. This stuff right here works very good and it smells very citrusy. It's not overpowering like most um, adhesive removers such as Lace Release by, um, who is this by? Oops. Oh, y'all, I'm so busted. I don't even know who this is by. Walker Tape Company. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one is very strong. It smells exactly like alcohol, which most likely that's is exactly what's in it. It's got mineral oil and propoglycol, some other stuff, blah, blah, blah. But this stuff is very strong, um, and I don't like that too well. I also had... Um, I ran out of this particular adhesive remover, and that was, uh, oh gosh, Top Soul by No Tape, which I also like this glue here. Uh, no Tape, it has a little, oh shoot, I just broke it. Get it another one. It has a twist off cap, and then you just, you know, you got a lot more control over where it's going, and, um, I will say it's stringy though. But y'all, my favorite. Sorry, the lights acting funny. My favorite is Mighty Tight. You can get this off of eBay. Um, if you just type it in, wig adhesives. Um, this is what it what it looks like, and it's a half ounce. I got a half ounce for seven dollars and fifty cents. This I love. This stuff works very well. Okay, so we got the glue off the menu. My favorites are these three. Mighty Tight Ultra Hold and uh, 30 Seconds Salon Pro, but Mighty Tight is my ultimate favorite. Now you can use glue strips 
These came with my um, Friday night hair wigs, but Muffins uses um, Super Tape, which I hear is very, very good, but I've only used it one time. And for me personally, I don't like the shine that I get from using tape, so I don't use it. Um, I just choose not to. Now, second segment, the lace. Always save this part of your lace. Whatever lace that you're getting ready to put on your head, I usually save the lace. Because what you can do is, if you're like me and you try out different types of adhesives, you can cut this, take a, the new product, and you'll also be doing an allergy test, test at all at the same time. And um, follow the directions on the bottle. Put a little bit on, you know, say your forearm or in an inconspicuous place. And you can do it in smaller pieces. You can do it wet. You can do it cement tacky, and you can do it dry, dry. Then that way you can see how long it's going to take for for it to actually work across your forehead. And then just take that little piece and then press it into like you would be doing around your head. But you be able to just press that there and then see what it dries like. If it's going to dry ashy, if it's going to dry white, if it's going to dry clear, um, you'll know the results before you actually adhere that uh, lace wig that's costing you some money. Sorry y'all, I'm sure breath today, but um, fantastic tip, great tip, and I hope y'all use it. Okay, so you got your lace wig. Now take it out the package, be very careful. Again, this, oh, I got the strap. This is from bestlacewigs.com. Okay. It's 100% human hair, tangle free. And it gives you hair care instructions, how to remove and how to attach your unit. Ladies, I know it may seem mundane to sit and read these things, but the, um, uh, the more educated you are about your lace, um, the longer it'll last. Okay, with this wig here, it does not have any combs in the top of the unit. And I would say that the top of here has approximately um, two inches or so of lace. Uh, actually, excuse me, about three inches of lace here. Okay, it's just a standard cap. No combs whatsoever in the top of the wig. It does have stretch panels here on the sides. And on this side, okay, and then it just has the tracks on the inside, no lace on the back of the unit, and no combs, none. Okay, so when you look at this, it's going to be a little scary to cut, okay. Now, if you don't have a styrofoam, if you do not have a styrofoam head, I learned this one from Desi, thank you, um, you can put it over a paper towel. Pull your baby hairs back and then go ahead and cut that. You see what I'm saying? Because then you could see where the hairline is and how to cut it. Now, if you do have a styrofoam head, which you can get from your local beauty supply, and some wig houses do carry them. I mean, wig sites do carry them. What I do is I get her on my head. I mean, get her on my styrofoam head. What I'm going to do is take those baby hairs and clip those back. Okay. Then what you're going to do is be very, very careful, okay? You're going to go back to where the lace is. Right here. Take a small set of scissors. Cut a little bit at a time. Remember, save these pieces.
Okay. So now your hairline is cut. There you go. I cut mine as close as I can to the uh, to the hairline. Now here is what the hair texture looks like. Very pretty. Very 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 nice. I think it's a deep wave. Okay, so we're gonna glue it down. What I'm gonna do is, since I already know where, I already got it sitting on my head right where I want it to. Everything's right where I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is take the wig, kind of fold it back a little bit. I'm gonna take the back of the of the wig and Try not to mess up the curls before I get the opportunity to show you what the wig is like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, I know I'm using 99% alcohol, but this is what works for me. I'm going to use 99% alcohol. Okay. We're going to take a cotton ball and clean. So we have that on it. We put that on. I was going to use scalp protector, but I'm bypassing that step this time. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with uh, my Mighty Tight. Okay, we have been curing for about 7-8 minutes. Now we're going to take it off. Okay, we got some cleaning up to do. What you're going to need is some cotton Q-tips, a little bit of alcohol. Actually, I'm not going to use this 99%. I'm going to go over here. Alcohol is alcohol, but I'm just going to go over here and use uh, 70% and get some of those spots. Okay. Now let's get a look at this baby. I didn't want to mess with the curls too much because I just found that this was just too cute of a wig. Okay. Get to the parting room. It's about right here. I'm just brushing these curls. Oh, shoot. Maybe I shouldn't have brushed them out. <laughs> this jug just went boof. <laughs> Doing a video pop. Shaka, 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 shaka. Look at that. This is some Dino Ross hair, some Shaka Khan, some something. Mm -hmm. Let me rock it, let me rock it, let me rock it, Shaka Khan. All I want to do, Shaka, Shaka, Shaka. Okay, we got some water, and let's just get... Okay, so you're probably going to want to know, is this a very thick wig? No, it's not. It is a lightweight uh, wig. Very lightweight. Very, very lightweight. Look at the 
how you doing? Mm, mm, mm. Maybe I should wet this side a little bit more. Put a little glosser on there. Oh, that's pretty. I wish that y'all could see this. This is just, look at them waves. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I hope she don't look too shiny. Um, she be. I like her down. Okay, and so um, hope I know this video was probably very, very long. Um, but for those that have been asking me how to do certain steps when I apply the wig and about uh, adhesives and different tricks that I have, my application process is not always 100%. Um, As you can see here, I kind of messed up a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. Um, you're going to mess up sometimes. You're not going to get it right. But um, what it's going to take is a lot of practice. Um, I'm still learning new tricks and tips and every time I learn something new I will pass that on to you but um but this is my review on bestlacewigs.com this is um SW082 and ooh we is she pretty and I'll put the price and information down below this was sent to me to do a review I've done that I am happy it is a very nice unit um, and for the price, which will also be lo uh, located below, you can't beat it, okay? Um, and that's it. Really pretty. Long. Very long. All right, y'all. I am going to go and show Honey Bear and see if he likes it. So I hope you guys are having a blessed day, and I appreciate you watching. And I will talk at you soon. I just want to say thank you. And I think I wet it too much. But the but the sheen that that stuff just gave it. Oh, man. Okay. All right, y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.